find the doctor the oncoming storm. Okay, so I am top tier, tier 8, T32, we're on fjords. Not starting at my favourite end of the map, but uh, but it's a standard game. And so here we go. Uh, we've got our little T50, our scout, dripping on that he's a scout. You know, what the fuck am I doing in a in a tier 8 match? You're a scout, that's what happens. It sucks to be a tier 4 tank, because there's not a great deal you can do, but still, you're a tier 4 tank, it happens. Now, I started at the top of the, of the, uh, of the group here, and so it could be argued that I should have gone over the top. But I, I've done that before, and I rarely ever do well there. I normally die very quickly without hitting anything and get shot from all sides. So generally, on fjords, I will always head to the southern point at uh, K4 and do because I'm generally in a in a heavy tank and do the duel at that point. And I'll always use that rock as cover because a couple of tanks. Uh, can shoot you through the through the gap if you go across the top. So always a good idea to use that cliff as cover. It doesn't. It takes you maybe an extra second or so to go around that way, and gives you cover the entire way. So there we are. Everybody stopped at the gap, and is uh, is engaging the tanks there. So I'm on my own down here. Although there is a T34 close behind me. Oh, look at that, Panther's just come around the corner. Shot into him, he bounces off me. When I realise he's fired as well and he's bounced, I'm eager to chase. Didn't even let it aim there. He was in most of my uh, aiming circle. I figured, what the hell. And I'm happy to let this T-34 go first. I've, I've had a pop, he hasn't. But he's just stopped, blocked me. And I brewed him up. There we go. Kill number one. Bit shit for that T-34 because uh, he had one shot at him and he missed. So, uh, yeah, well, sucks to be him. But I'm quite happy to use him as a shield. And that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm letting him go first and anything that might be a threat to me, I'm letting shoot him first. And I know that's not very sportsman of me, but I really want that KV-13, because I've never had a KV-13, but I'm not going to get him, so. Now that Tiger 2 has just fired at him, but I bounce off the Tiger 2. But I get out of the way and put the T-34 between me and the Tiger 2, and he's fired again. And I bounced off him again. So again, move the T32 between the two of us. Sorry, T34 between the two of us. And I cocked that one up, and he hit me, and then my shot was blocked by the T34. This time I'm not taking any chances. Commander's Hatch. So that's kill number two for me. And me and the T34 can move on. And I basically just ninja his kill. I realised I was about to ram him into the Tiger 2 there. Not deliberate, I just wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Right, so here we go, T29, take my time, fire, kill number three, beautiful. Now there's a KV-4 here, and an IS that I'm interested in. Deal with the KV-4 first, there's, there's buildings between us. Now me and this T-34 have worked well together so far, even if I have been basically using him as a shield. Didn't have anything nice enough to take a shot on there. He's going around that way, I'm going around this way. I will leave him very, very weak, allowing the T-34 for it to get a kill. There we go. T-34 gets his first kill. Aided by me. And now, where was that IS? I've lost him. There he is. If you look on the mini map, you'll see that KV-1S is engaging him, giving me 
ample opportunity to just put a round into his uh, commander's hatch. I've taken a hit, but before I can make the kill, someone else kills him. So, wasted shot there. Bit of a git, but it happens. And now this KV-1S is just going to completely fuck me off. Because there's an AFK tank there. And not only does he cock his own shot up, he then moves in front of mine. Penis. But it happens. And that's the end of the game. Uh, very good game for me. I really enjoyed it. And so on to the results for that game. There we go, uh, 1,308 XP, uh, 40,000 credits. You can see there, five tanks uh, shot at, three destroyed. Uh, other than that Panther, they were all one-shot kills, or one hit into them. Um, bit annoyed about that KV-1S at the end, you know. Could have had a pop at him, but as I said, my shot was blocked. So uh, just the five there. If you look at the team score, straight away at the top, Although the IS-3 beneath me did more damage, uh, I'm guessing that uh, where I was up front and personal, uh, I uh, I I didn't have to share my um, damage with someone who was spotting for me. So uh, there we go. Because obviously the number of kills makes no difference whatsoever. Um, so it, it's got to be that. I, d I know I didn't get any spotting damage. We look at the detailed report. There we go. Yeah, you can see that damage upon my spotting nil. Um, yeah, ten shots fired, eight of them hit, seven penetrated. Uh, Two thousand two hundred sixty-seven damage. I was hit five times, two of which penned me. Um, my potential damage wasn't even slightly enough to kill me. So even if they'd all done me, uh, I'd have lived through that one. Uh, I spotted one enemy. That might be the difference, but you know, with that amount of damage, you know, two equal tiered tanks. Uh, yeah, he must have been sharing his uh, XP with someone who was uh, spotting for him. Uh, anyway, I enjoyed that match. I hope you did, and I will catch you next time. Bye.